What's going on guys, it's Colin, and now that the NGT Games contest is over, I thought I'd get back in the swing of things and bring you guys a little bit of Squad Deathmatch on Panama Canal, because this has actually been something that's been requested over on my channel, and uh, it's a map that's challenging to, uh, to win quickly, so I thought I'd bring you guys what we found to be sort of the winning strategy to get a game over fast because you know uh, if you've seen a lot of my uh, squad deathmatch videos you know that we like to sort of spread out as a squad and sweep and clear and on this map because it's so spread out you can basically wind up running around in circles if you try and employ that strategy so I just wanted to talk about uh, you know how to get this game over with a little bit more quickly because you know I've had games playing without my squad where I've almost cracked 30 kills but games can go on 20 minutes even half an hour sometimes and, uh, you know, that's just a little bit too drawn out for my taste. So, anyway, what we like to do is essentially control this building, which in Conquest, I believe, is the Charlie building. And uh, you'll see here in a minute why we like to do that. And this building provides an excellent vantage point pretty much of the entire map. And uh, I just head up on the roof here for a second and uh, don't really do much because uh, I'm actually running a bit of a bizarre kit setup and I'll discuss that in a minute. But what you like to do is have, uh, you know, no more than two guys controlling this building. And staying up on this rooftop is a little bit dangerous. You're susceptible to being sniped, especially if you stand still. So you always want to stay on the move. And even at that, you might get picked off once or twice. But, you know, at least you make them work for it. But the second component to the strategy is to have, you know, no more than two guys up there and to have uh, two other squad mates who are down on the ground sweeping the area. And what I've chosen to do is own this side of the map. And what you'll find is that the enemies wind up uh, focusing on your teammates who are up in the Charlie building and you can run around and basically pick them off and, and they're unaware to your presence. And towards the end of this game, you'll see exactly what I mean. But uh, anyway, so the kit selection I'm running here is the XM8 Compact, and I've got the, the four times scope on it. And <laughs> normally I would not run this on this map. Uh, typically would run the Assault class, but I was just trying to finish up the, uh, the Platinum Star for my XM8 on this particular night. And this game was recorded at probably two or three, maybe even four in the morning. So you will see that fatigue is setting in and I have some pretty serious aim failures. And uh, I actually edited out one death because I basically spawned on a squad mate and tried to get out of that Charlie building and I got blown away in the stairwell. So anyway, uh, skip that one. But the rest of this uh, match after that first death is pretty much unedited. So um, what I'm doing is basically just taking ownership and holding down this side of the map and letting my teammates control that uh, Charlie building. And as you can see, you know, uh, a lot of enemies are focused solely on that rooftop trying to pick them off. And I'm able to basically shoot them from the side, occasionally in the back, and uh, even rush them right from the front because they're aiming down the sights up at the building. And I'm going to throw a couple of uh, Gustavs into this tank. Probably should have been running the RPGs, but <laughs> as I said, I didn't make all the best decisions just given the time of day that this game was recorded. And I'm just sort of rinsing and repeating. I'm cleaning up enemies as they try and make a push towards the Charlie building. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm doing pretty well. You know, right here, I don't know if that's a hit detection fail. I think I'm hitting him, like, on the shoulder, but it doesn't work out. And I kind of commit a bit of a no-no because I'm starting to run really low on ammo for my XM8. And I pop out of cover here, and <laughs> I blast this guy with the Gustav. So, uh, you know, forgive me, guys. <laughs> but uh, I didn't want to pull out the handgun there. And what I'm actually going to do is call out to my teammates that I need ammo. And one of them chucks an ammo crate down off the roof. So I'm able to resupply and carry on on with my streak and uh, I think I started out the game like two and one and I finished the game 18 and two with uh, a death in between there so this actually is like a 16 kill streak which isn't too bad and one of my squad mates who was controlling the rooftop he actually winds up uh, with 20 kills and I get 18 so I was on the higher traffic side of the map obviously in this game and we had another squad mate who was patrolling over on the tank spawn side but he didn't get to, to see nearly as much action so that's unfortunate for him but uh, his loss is my gain and now we've actually given up control of the building and what I'm going to do is just try and clean it out again so that we can take over and continue implementing our strategy and that's uh, that's some of the aim failure right there <laughs> the fatigue not burst firing, not getting on target, but, uh, you know, because because I'm in a good position most of the time, and because the enemies are not focused on me, and they're, they're drawn to my teammates, I'm able to get away with a lot of things in this game, for sure. 
And now that we've got the building cleared out, uh, my squad mate, he's going to take his spot back up on the roof, and I'm going to work my way out of the building and go back on the patrol here. So, actually meet a medic in the doorway, and I think that's the same guy who had taken me out in the death that I edited out, and I kind of got stuck in that doorway in the stairwell on my way down, and, uh, and he blew me away with the PKM, so... A uh, bit of a failure on my part, but uh, we do manage to turn it around, and we started this game in, uh, I forget how much of a hole it was, maybe 16 kills, but you can just see that this strategy is, you know, it's fairly solid, as long as you have uh, decent squad mates holding down the top of the building, because, you know, if, uh, if they're just up there dying a lot, obviously it's not effective, but if we're able to maintain that sort of map control, then the revenge kill mentality kicks in on the enemies, as I've talked about in other videos, and they're just going to keep coming back for more, and because I'm down on the ground and because they kind of have tunnel vision on getting into that building I'm able to, to get a lot of really easy kills and you know right here I'm shooting an enemy in the back and <laughs> that's how I like to that's how I like to roll this guy's sprinting I catch him so uh, anyway you know we're just uh, we're just rolling along and actually at this point we're already at 42 kills so you know once once you get posted up and once you get you know that strategy implemented and positioned the way you want to on the map then you can really start to to roll this out quickly and uh, and finish it up and I go chasing down a kill here but I'm not quite sure what he's doing down on the ground he's kind of running around oblivious I think he was maybe looking for someone and uh, I'm gonna clean him up and right there that there we're already at 47 kills so now I'm just gonna kinda go out on the patrol and look for a few more kills and and wind this thing down and so I definitely have some more rush gameplay to bring you guys, and uh, you know a few more squad death matches. I've kind of given up on playing Conquest just because you know it just hasn't been a lot of fun, and we've had a really hard time finding games of squad rush to play. So anyway, uh, I'll continue to do this. I will be giving Black Ops a shot when it comes out, and uh, you know see how that works out for me. And here I spot the last two kills of the game and uh, finish them up probably I think with my last bullet before I would have needed to go looking for ammo. But to any of you guys, leave a comment, let you know what you think. Uh, somebody had asked for some deathmatch on this map, and I also have some UMP gameplay to bring you. So, uh, lots more to come. Cheers, guys. Talk soon. Hey, guys, we're on Facebook. Check the description of this video for the link to our new Facebook application. Subscribe and get our latest video updates posted right on the wall on your own Facebook page.